Welcome to Mini Art Lessons with Rachel. Hi, hello, and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. Today, we are going to be making castles. Come on, let's get started. Okay, so the materials that I'm going to be using to create my castle are pretty easy. Some paper, I have some mixed media paper right here. Paint brushes, because we're going to be using some liquid watercolors. Now remember, the liquid watercolors that I'm gonna be using come in this, but I like to put them in jars. It's easier in jars, so I have all of mine over here in some jars. Now we are also going to be using some oil pastels and some markers. Now, if you don't have oil pastels or markers or the liquid watercolors, that's okay. If you wanna create your castle with crayons or regular kind of markers, cause I have Sharpie markers or um, color pencils, you are more than welcome to join in and create your castle however you want. All right, let's get started. Okay, let's brainstorm a little. Hmm, where is your castle going to be located? Hmm, is it gonna be underwater? Is it gonna be in a jungle? Is it gonna be in the desert? Where do you want your castle to be? Now let's also think about who lives in your castle. Do you have a princess in your castle? Is there a queen, a king, a prince? Or maybe it's a castle for a wizard. Or maybe nobody lives in your castle because it's been taken over by a dragon. You get to decide however you want your castle to be and whoever you want living in your castle. Maybe your castle is scary and nobody is there. Maybe your castle is covered in flowers and it's beautiful. Maybe your castle is black with cobwebs and all sorts of different things. You are the artist, so you get to decide. Come on, let's get started. Like, so my castle is going to be in the middle of the ocean. In the middle of the ocean, here's some waves. Here's some waves over here. And it's not under the ocean. It's on top of the ocean. So it kind of floats on top of that ocean. So I'm gonna draw over here my castle. I'm gonna draw a big tower, which is gonna kind of be this rectangle shape right here. And maybe next to that, I'll draw a little square over here and then over here kind of like a hmm, like an arch kind of shape there so i'm drawing a lot of different shapes over here huh this one maybe i'll do another kind of rectangle shape right there and then maybe i'll put some triangle tops, some gold kind of triangle tops up here. And another kind of gold triangle top over here. And probably another triangle top over here. Triangle top right there gonna put in some windows, some windows, some square shapes over here. I'm doing some pink windows. As you can tell, my castle is very colorful. And I think the person who lives in my castle is going to be hmm, a magical fairy godmother. She lives in this castle. So I'm gonna draw, she's gonna be kind of flying up here. Here's her dress. And because she's magical, that's why she can live on 
on top of the ocean. And some wings. And I'm gonna draw her head up here. And some hair. She's gonna have red hair. And then I'll probably draw a smile, draw a face on her. So here's some eyes. Here's her legs. Here's her arms. Draw a little bit more red hair. Like that. And color this side. Make that a little bit more colorful. Maybe I'll put some more windows on this side, but this time I'll do some big windows. Some big rectangle windows. Going down. Over here, I'll draw a big arch window. And I need to have a door for my castle. So I'm gonna put a door right here. And maybe I'll put another window over here. And a window up here. So there's kind of my castle. Again, your castle can be however you want it to be. It is your dream castle. Maybe I'll put something, maybe I'll put a slide on the side. I'm gonna be having a castle in the ocean. I should have a slide on the side. So there's kind of my slide that comes out of my castle. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I'm also gonna draw around my castle is a dragon. This dragon helps protect my castle. So I'm gonna draw a dragon coming out, going in, coming out. Here's my dragon's head. So this dragon protects the castle from anyone who tries to enter. draw some spikes going back down the back of my dragon over here some spikes now this picture is just kind of or this um you know drawing that we're doing is just kind of for fun so you get to really have lots of fun with it and create it however you want to okay maybe i'll put a mermaid on the other side over here there's a mermaid she's my friend my mermaid friend. Over here. She's coming up to say hello. From down below. And give her a tail as well. Here's her tail coming up. Whoop! That was not the green color that I thought it was going to be. Let's try this again. Here's her tail coming up. There we go. I'm going to give her a face over here. Her arms waving, hello, hello. Give her some hair. Maybe I'll make her have some purple hair. There she is. Okay. So now that I'm kind of done drawing my ocean, I'm gonna go ahead, maybe I'll add in some more waves over here, some waves over here. Drawing some, some, the sun. I'll put the sun up here as well. There we go. All right, so now that I'm kind of done with my picture, I'm gonna go ahead and start painting my castle. I'm gonna start with my liquid watercolors. I'm gonna use this magenta color. Wipe, wipe, wipe with my paintbrush. 
paint over here, paint red on top, paint, paint, paint. Maybe I'll paint in the inside of my tower over here. Go. I'm gonna use this lime kind of color right here. Maybe I'll paint this tower over here. This lime color. Right over everything. I'm gonna add some purple. Probably just gonna do this triangle purple up here. Maybe I'll do this one purple over here as well. You see how my oil pastels are coming right out? What other color do I want to add? Maybe I'll paint in some of this kind of peachy kind of color right here. There we go. Okay. Gonna paint in the ocean. Ocean over here. And remember, you guys, this picture is just for fun. This is just a fun kind of creative thinking drawing. So there is no wrong way to create your dream castle. I'll go ahead and paint in my little magical fairy godmother up here. There we go. All right, so there's my picture of my castle. Um, I have it in the ocean, on top of the ocean. I have a slide and a mermaid and a dragon and my fairy godmother that lives up there, but I'm so excited to hear about what your castle looks like. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had so much fun being creative and imaginative and just drawing and having fun. My castle came out so cute and colorful. It's in the ocean and it has all the things I wanted my dragon and my fair, magical fairy godmother and my mermaid. And it looks like such a happy little place. Can I see your magical castle? Wow, that looks so cool. I love what you came up with. What a great idea. Thanks so much, you guys. Please come back, check out more videos, and I can't wait to see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.